Hi, my name is Stan, the Annuity Man. I've got a little bit of an issue right now with annuities and how the media is treating annuities. Now, the last time I kind of went on one of these rants, I guess, for lack of a better phrase, you know, I, I got emotional about it because I was talking about, you know, the stock market decline, etc. But, but I'm really upset about how, how the media talks about annuities. Annuities have been around for a long, long time. Annuities are pension products. Annuities are the only product on the planet that can provide a lifetime income stream. But somehow, the media has driven home this I hate annuities mantra, which is total crap. Now, I understand that there's agendas out there. I understand there's ads that are out there. But what I don't understand is that the media continually feeds into it. They continually are uneducated uned about the product. They continually don't want to learn about the product or don't want to talk to someone like myself who's going to tell them the brutal truth without sales pitches. That's what I'm mad about. But you know what? The media in general I'm mad about. Because what I'm mad about with the, the media and annuities is the same reason that the rest of the country is mad about the media. It's all about advertising. It's all about clicks, getting revenue, it's, it's all about agendas, both left and right. I could give a crap whether you're Republican or Democrat. It doesn't matter. And this isn't some political sp speech with, you know, I love America in the background. We're all Americans. We're all in this thing together. We're all working hard, you know. We're all, you know, I will tell you that I don't see color. I know you don't see color. People out there are just trying to make it. The media has to get to a point where they're telling the truth about such a simple product like annuities and they tell the truth about such a simple thing like whatever's in the news today. I don't know if that's even possible. I'm so frustrated right now about how annuities are framed by the, the retirement industry that writes about it, by the financial industry that writes about it. It's crazy. I give props to thestreet.com for giving me a platform to talk about annuities, to put videos about annuities, to put podcasts about annuities, to let me write about annuities so that people understand the transfer of risk nature, that they're not all one size fits all, they're not for everybody, they're not too good to be true, they're not pie in the sky, they're not unicorns chasing the butterflies, they're not some back-tested great thing, they're not market participation with no downside, they're not all the upside with no down, they're not the dream, they're contractual realities. And I think we're reaching a point in this country with 10,000 baby boomers reaching retirement age every single day and with market volatility happening like it's happening now with a global and geopolitical mess that's on our hands and we have no clue what's going to happen. People need to be told about guarantees. People need, meet, need to be told that there's other options available to them than some mutual fund or some stock or some ETF or some you know, tech company or some whatever. Institutions run the stock market. Institutions run money. Computers, they're driving the whole thing. The media has to be transparent to the consumer about what's out there, about their retirement. It's a demographic tidal wave. It's a demographic tidal wave of people that are tired of losing money, that are tired of being sold a bill of goods, that are tired of buying potential, buying hopes, buying dreams, buying pie in the sky. If you want to gamble, go to Vegas. If you want to gamble, go to Jersey. If you want to gamble and travel, go to Macau or whatever that place is called that Wynn Win owns. Go there. Gamble. Gamble on sports. But don't gamble on your retirement. And I blame the media for this. The media should be transparent. Here's your options. But no, the clickbait. No, we get more clicks, Stan the Annuity Man, if we're showing Bitcoin or if we're showing Apple or if we're showing Amazon or if we're showing, you know, whatever. Middle America goes to work every single day, works hard. They can't follow the markets. They have to trust in someone to follow the markets. And what do the big firms do? The big brokerage firms, of which I used to work for, they'll come in and say, yeah, we really don't like annuities. Or we have some great online firms that, that get out of the annuity business altogether. We don't want to sell those anymore. What? Why? People want guarantees. Annuities aren't just all about income. You can get principal protection, okay? But most of them are about income. And the last time I looked, Social Security was not put in place as the primary income source for everybody. It wasn't. But what is everybody using it for? Primary income source. Now, kudos to the last round of uh, the SECURE Act or whatever that was called, but that's a drop in the bucket. That is an absolute drop in the bucket. So media, I'm going to tell you something. You're losing me. You're losing audience. You're losing middle America. No one trusts you anymore. And you've earned that lack of trust. You've earned that reality of people going to alternative media to get their news, which is not good. But you've earned that. Stop with the agendas. Stop with the political stuff. 
Stop with where you want the country to go. Stop. Report the news. Report it on both sides. Be fair, be consistent, be factual, be brutally honest. You think we're dumb out here as Americans? We're not dumb. We see right through all that stuff on both the right side and the left side of the political spectrum. And you know what we're doing now? We're tuning out. The problem with that is we're tuning out maybe at a time that we need to be tuning in with all of this virus stuff going on and all of this global geopolitical nonsense. It could be real. It could be catastrophic. It could be horrible. But what you have done, media, is you have laid the, the field and laid the seed to where we don't trust you anymore. You're to blame. This is, the, this is a watershed moment where you can stop all the BS and all the political nonsense and all of the, the shenanigans that go on and be honest with us. This is America. We're all in this together. Everywhere I go and travel and I'm in Uber cars and I'm talking to people, we're all in this together. Doesn't matter how much money you have, we're all in this together. Stop trying to break us up. Stop trying to be politically correct. Stop trying to look at races and, and you're not getting this and we're not getting this and blah, blah, blah. Stop it. This is the time right now. This is the time, media. Be honest about financial products. Be honest about politics. Be honest about everything for once. I know it's for profit. I know what you're saying, Stanley Nooney, man. You're, you're screaming into a hurricane. No one's gonna listen to you. Maybe not, maybe not. This is a small YouTube channel. I talk about annuities, I talk about lifetime income, I talk about trying to help people set up contracts and policies that will protect the principal or give them a lifetime income stream. That's boring stuff, I understand, my life's boring. I'm just a, a, just a minion out here. But I think I speak for a lot of people. I know I speak for my client base, most of them, I would assume that we're tired of it. And media, this is it. Pivot right here. Because if you do not pivot right here, you're gonna lose us forever. And if you don't believe me, don't pivot.